What's happening, YouTube family? We're going to be talking Marvel Avengers Endgame post credit scene. As you know, they re released it with a new post credit scene to try and topple Avatar as the number one highest grossing movie in history. They only needed about 40 million. It don't look like they're going to get it. And I'm going to let you guys know about that post credit scene. And this is worth your money to go see again. But first, on this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell because we're working on skill in the craft helping you guys make life gains please subscribe to this channel turn on those notifications so when i drop videos you get them if you like any of the marvel gear i'm wearing check out my amazon link it's in video description so i hate to say this because y'all know i'm a marvel guy y'all know i love marvel i rocks with marvel but for what they are giving you in the re-release, which is basically you sit through the whole movie to see post-credit after the old post-credit, is definitely not worth it. And I'm going to sit here and explain to you what happens in the post-credit. So first and foremost, they do an outstanding tribute to Stan Lee. They go through all his cameos basically from every movie. They give you his new cameos. And it is a real big nod to the man that created all this good stuff. And I say it's really good. But that's not worth you going sitting through the whole movie all over again. You can wait for that on Blu-ray and DVD. And the other big thing that happened in the end credits was they explained to you how Professor Hulk became Professor Hulk. They give you the moments leading up to that. And first and foremost, they didn't put it in the movie. They did record it to put it in the movie, but they just didn't. And so... They put it at the post credit of this re-release. And what happens is it is basically a nod to the Die Hard movie because they film a lot of the Avengers in Atlanta. So you're going to see a scene with Reginald Vale Johnson. Yes, this Reginald Vale Johnson. You know, pal, misleading people and extorting money is a felony. Plus, Edward and his friend are under 21 and by law aren't allowed in here in the first place. I'm Lieutenant Carl Winslow, Chicago PD. Carl Winslow is a fire captain and they're looking at a building skyscraper that's on fire. There's people still up there in the top of the building. And what do they cut to? The Incredible Hulk slicing through the building just like he did in the movie Avengers when he was chasing Black Widow. He gets to the top and he saves all these people, jumps on top of the building, puts them in this big satellite dish, and instead of going down the stairs, he just jumps from building to building until he lands on the ground and dumps them off to Reginald Vale Johnson, the fire chief and the crew, and he has a little dialogue with them. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your post credit scenes. You can wait for Blu-ray to get all that good stuff. And as bad as I hate to say that, because y'all know I support Marvel, I also got to hold y'all down and keep it honest with y'all about when you should and when you shouldn't spend that money on something that I deem is worthy. And this is not it. But Marvel, you know I rock with y'all and you know I love y'all. And I'm going to always do the best I can to be fair and balanced and keep it real. But this is not going to do it. And I don't think that they are going to eclipse Avatar to become the number one movie in box office history. But you guys let me know. Have, did you go back and see it again? How did you feel about Endgame in the first place? I personally felt like Affinity War was better than Endgame. I felt like all the, the lead up that people had to Avengers Endgame, it didn't meet that lead up. It kind of felt like you was high and dry. Now having said that, it was a good movie. So don't get me wrong, it was a good movie. But the lead up had you having a higher expectation and it didn't fulfill that expectation which is why I don't think people went back to see that as much as they went back to see Infinity War. So leave me your comments and let me know how you feel. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself that life game. Let me know if you're going to see Spider-Man. It drops this week. I will be dropping a review on it so that you guys ain't got to worry about it. I'm going to let you know if it's worthy of going to see. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.